गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी विल डू सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट फोर दिस इज फिगर यू हैव टू फाइंड द आंसर फ्रॉम दिस फिगर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आईडेंटिफाई थ्री ट्राइंगल्स फ्रॉम दिस फिगर नाउ लुक एट दिस यू नो इन ट्राइंगल देर आर थ्री साइड्स फर्स्ट ट्राइंगल इज एंगल ए बी डी सो फर्स्ट ट्राइंगल विल बी ट्राइंगल ए बी डी Now second triangle is this angle A D C. Second triangle is A D C. And third triangle is this complete triangle. What is the name of this A B C? Third triangle is triangle A B C. Now next question is name of seven angles. I told you angles earlier also. So first of all we will give numbering to angles. Angle one this. Angle two, angle three, angle four, angle five, angle six. Now angle seven. So what will be angle seven? I will take this complete angle, one or two. That is angle seven. Now I will give name to uh, to these uh, name or uh, try uh, to these angles. First is angle one. This is the angle one. A So we will uh, uh, see the arms of angle one. One arm is AB and one arm is AD. So triangle angle one is angle BAD. First is angle angle BAD. That is the first angle. Now we will take angle two. we will uh, see what are the arms of angle 2 that is ad and ac and this is the vertex so angle will be angle d a c now look at the angle 3 what are the arms of angle 3 ab and bd and this is the vertex so it is a b d angle a b d Now fourth angle, this. What are the arms? BD and AD, and D is the vertex. So angle ADB, angle ADB. Now fifth angle is this. Arms are DC and DA, and vertex is DC. A uh, vertex is D, so it is ADC. Angle ADC. Now look at the angle six. Arms are AC and DC and vertex is C. So angle is ACD. ACD. Now angle seven. It is complete angle. It means this A. Complete angle A. So what are the arms of A? AB and AC and vertex is A. So it will be angle BAC. So these are the seven angles. Next question is. names of six line segments so we will write here names of six line segment first is ab second is bd third is dc fourth is ac fifth is ad and sixth is this complete bc these are the six line segments now d part is which two triangles have angle b as common angle b is this you have to write the two triangles that have b as common this means b common are wrong first triangle is angle a b d triangle a b d there is b point angle b is there and next triangle should be a b c triangle a b c here also angle b is common here also angle b is common now next the topic is quadrilateral what is quadrilateral a four sided polygon is a quadrilateral okay a four sided polygon is a quadrilateral it has four sides 
I am giving name A, B, C, D. It has four sides. What are the names of four sides? First is A, B. Second is B, C. Third is D, C. And fourth is D. Now, it has four angles. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4. You can write name. Right. This angle is angle A. Or you can write the name of this angle. D A B. Or D A D. You can write the name of angle in three ways. Angle A or Angle B A B or angle B A D. Similarly in angle B also. Angle B. Or what we can write angle A B C. This B will come in center. Angle A B C or angle C B A. Similarly angle C. Angle C or what we will write uh, instead of angle C. Angle B, C, D or angle D, C, B. Similarly, we will take angle D or we can write angle A, D, C or angle C, D. A. Okay, these are the four angles. Now, there are two diagonals in a quadrilateral. If I am drawing a quadrilateral, P, Q, R, S. And you have to draw diagonals. Diagonal means you have to meet the uh, opposite vertex of quadrilaterals. This is the first diagonal. That is SQ. And second diagonal is PR. Diagonals, what are diagonals? When we meet uh, opposite vertices, vertices, then that line is called diagonals. Now, these are the diagonals. Now, one more important point. If I have written, I have written quadrilateral A, B, C, D. And you have to draw this quadrilateral. So how you will draw? Like this. You have. Then how you will give name? This is a, uh, for example, I am starting A from here. You can start from A here also. A here. From here also. I am starting from here. A. B. C. D. These letters should be in sequence. If A, B, C, D is written there, so you have to write A, B, C, D in sequence. If you are, you will write like this. A, B, C, D. Then this is wrong. You have to write these letters in sequence order. Okay. Yes. Now, first question of exercise 4.5. Draw a rough sketch of a quadrilateral PQRS. Draw its diagonals. Name them. Is the meeting point of the diagonals in the interior or exterior of the quadrilateral? First of all, we will draw a rough sketch of a quadrilateral PQRS. You have to draw with scale and pencil. P, Q, R, S. You have to write in sequence. Now, he is saying draw its diagonals. Diagonal means you have to meet opposite vertices with help of scale. Now, is the meeting point of the diagonals in the interior or exterior of the quadrilateral? What is the meeting point of diagonals? This is the meeting point of diagonal. I am giving name T. He is he's asking, is this, is this point interior or exterior in the quadrilateral? Interior means under, exterior means bahar. So this point is in, in the interior of the quadrilateral. 
so what you have to write you have to write that meeting point of the diagonals is in the interior of the quadrilateral okay now second question is draw a rough sketch of a quadrilateral klmn and state these uh, answers of these questions so we will draw a quadrilateral k l m n now first question is two pairs of opposite sides ab now what is the meaning of opposite sides opposite means aamne samne so uh, if i am taking here n k side what is the opposite of n k samne uske this is that is the m l so one pair is that uh, nk and ml both are opposite sides aamne samne hai and remember one thing opposite sides never meet never touch to each other so nk and ml is a first pair of opposite sides nk and ml this is the first pair he is saying right two pairs now we will check next line kl what is the opposite side of kl nm kl ke samne hai nm it is not touching it so kl and nm is the another pair kl and nm so understood what are opposite sides that opposite to each other and never touch to each other now two pairs of opposite angles angles he is saying right two pairs if i am taking angle n angle n what is the opposite of angle n angle l why l m will not opposite because it is on the same line and i told you opposite never meet never touch to each other so n is on different vertex uh, different lines and l is on uh, are on the different lines so what is the opposite angle of n that is l jo uske bilkul opposite hai that is l so angle n and angle l are opposite angles okay now next i am taking here angle k what is the opposite of angle k that is angle m it is the opposite of angle k uh, m is the opposite of angle k so these are the two pairs of opposite angles now next c part is write the two pairs of adjacent sides now adjacent means saath saath okay opposite means uh, aamne samne never touch to each other but adjacent means saath saath so if i am taking here kl so what is the adjacent side of kl nk bhi ho sakti hai and ml bhi ho sakti hai both are possible but we have to write only one side with this kl so i am taking here kl and ml both are adjacent sides okay because they have common point l kl and ml are adjacent sides kl and ml first pair is this kl and ml now i will take next pair take any line like i am taking here nm so what is the adjacent of nm it is ml 
or n k. I will take only one. With n m, I will take n k. Okay, you can take m l also with n m. But now I am taking n m and n k. Both are adjacent sides. N m and n k. Both are adjacent sides. Just साथ साथ हैं. Now next D part is write two pairs of adjacent angles. Adjacent मतलब जो साथ में हैं. So I am I am taking angle M. So what is the adjacent angle of M? It it is N or L. ठीक है. So ये N भी हो सकता है ये L भी हो सकता है. I will take only one. With M I am taking L. You can take N also with M. So angle M. What is the adjacent of angle M? And what is the adjacent angle of angle M? That is angle L. Now second pair. If I am taking K, what is the adjacent angle with K? You can take N. You can take L. I am taking here N. Both are adjacent angles. ठीक है. So opposite adjacent read it carefully and do practice of these questions